next item on our agenda is House File 1804 from Vice Chair Katiza Watoon. Uh, Representative Katiza Watoon, would you like to move your bill? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I would move House File 1804 to be before the committee. Representative Katiza Watoon moves House File 1804 before the committee to be laid over for possible inclusion in an omnibus bill. And then there is a DE3 amendment. Do you want to move and describe the DE? Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, members, I'm gonna move the DE2 amendment. Um, it, it significantly shortens uh, the language of the bill. We you know, put forward uh, a number of proposals and suggestions in one package and um, have, have decided to move forward on just two sections of the original bill. So that's what you will find in the DE2. Any discussion to the DE2? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Mm -hmm. Motion prevails. The DE2 is adopted. Representative Katiza Watoon. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, so first, I, I would like to thank Mr. Elwood and the Minnesota Automobile Dealers Association for working collabor collaboratively on this bill. And um, as I mentioned, the, the DE does represent the product of these discussions thus far. So uh, the DE does two things, it provides for disclosure for car buyers that the vehicle that they have purchased has what is called a kill switch. Um, and number two, it expands the number of vehicles that are required to have a warranty upon purchase. Some dealers who finance the purchase of vehicles install GPS starter interrupt devices or kill switches. These devices allow a dealer to remotely disable a vehicle. Oftentimes a buyer is unaware that these kill switches have been installed on their vehicle and you can imagine the driver's surprise when a car is suddenly disabled by someone in a different location flipping a switch. Uh, House file 1804 as amended would require the dealer to tell the buyer that the car has one of these devices. And as you will hear, the Automobile Dealers Association would like to continue discussions on the precise language. Um, and of course, we will continue working. Um, that's one of the reasons why the bill is being laid over today. The second part of the bill increases consumer protection regarding warranties. Under current Minnesota law, there is no requirement that cars sold that have more than 75,000 miles have any warranty at all. House file 1804 would require dealers who exclusively sell used cars to warrant that the cars they sell are fit for the use for which they are intended. The warranty requirement in the bill provides a basic warranty for a limited period of time for those higher mileage vehicles. With that, I would like to turn it over to my testifier, Mr. Todd Murray, an attorney who has experience representing consumers who have been harmed by this gap in consumer protection regarding warranties that this bill seeks to fill. Mr. Murray, welcome to the committee. State your name for the record. Proceed to your testimony. Thank you, Chair Stevenson and members of the committee. My name is Todd Murray. I'm a private consumer rights attorney practicing at the law firm of Friedman Murray in Minneapolis. Since 2010, I've represented many consumers who have purchased used vehicles only to have uh, problems crop up after the purchase. These problems are often significant mechanical issues that necessitate um, expensive repairs or even more serious issues that uh, render the vehicle unsafe to drive for both the buyer and their families. Um, this bill just seeks to extend the already existing warranty protections in Minnesota law for vehicles under 175, under 75,000 miles to vehicles over 75,000 miles. The warranty that is in the bill is very modest. It is 15 days or 500 miles. That's a very low bar to clear to sell a used vehicle that will not have any mechanical problems for 15 days. Um, and I think that over the last 12 years in practice, um, you know, I've represented dozens of consumers in litigation. I've talked to nearly a thousand consumers that I haven't been able to help. And I think this bill will go a long ways to closing a loophole in the law. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we also have uh, Amber Backus. Ms. Backus, if you want to make your way down, state your name for record, proceed your testimony. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair and members. My name is Amber Backus. I'm here on behalf of the Minnesota Automobile Dealers Association and our 375 franchise new car and truck dealers located in communities across the state of Minnesota. Uh, we truly appreciate the opportunity to testify on this bill and we thank Mr. Elwood for reaching out before it was even introduced to talk about some of the issues they wanted to address and work to find compromise. 
um, and as you heard the language before you in sections four and five, establishing a new class of warranties for vehicles with over 75,000 miles addresses a specific problem in a targeted fashion without disrupting the market by devaluing consumer trade-ins brought to franchise dealers or taking high mileage vehicles and good conditions out of the Minnesota marketplace. And as uh, Representative Katiza Watoon alluded to with regard to the kill switch provision, we agree with the intent. There should be disclosure if a dealer installs a device to immobilize a vehicle remotely, um, but we do wanna work on that definition of kill switch as the language in the bill is fairly broad and could cover things like OnStar or uh, insurer provided telematics. But we look forward to continuing the conversation and it's been a great process so far and thank you very much for your time. Any members of the public wishing to testify as to this bill? Seeing none, we'll move to member discussion and questions to the bill. Discussion to the bill. Seeing none, closing comments, Representative Katiza Wittoon. Thank you, Mr. Chair and members for your uh, consideration of House File 1804. Um, I think that this is a relatively simple bill. You know, it, it's, um, really difficult, I think, for, for consumers who might find themselves in uh, in need of looking for a, looking for a car. Um, you know, the market is tight these days. There's been um, supply chain issues with new vehicles, lots more um, used vehicles on the market these days. Uh, the cost has kind of gone up. So for folks who are looking for a car that is um, in this high mile range and they, they go into the sale expecting that the car is going to work for them <laughs> and and um, the the issues that they are having in transportation, they should be able to assume that that car is actually going to do that and function as a reliable vehicle. So um, I appreciate it and we will certainly continue the conversations on the kill switch <coughs> portion of the vehicle, but I appreciate the support. Wonderful, and with that, the bill is laid over. <laughs>